Today we are going to review the short increment sensitivity index test and how to perform that test within the MedRex Studio software. The short increment sensitivity index test is a test of intensity difference Lyman, which uses loudness as a metric. It assumes that there is a close correlation between intensity and loudness. So we're measuring the patient's ability to test the difference between loudness of sounds. And on this audiogram here, you can see that the right ear is considered the better ear and you have 10 decibel thresholds across the board. The left ear is considered the poorer ear and you have a sloping set of thresholds. So the test procedure is going to take place starting at one frequency and then as you complete each frequency you can do multiples after that. At a particular frequency you're going to present a tone 20 decibels above the threshold so 20 dB SL in the poorer ear and in this case if we're looking at 2000 Hertz we are going to present 60 decibels on the left. From there we want to increase the tone in five decibel increments on the left side and instruct the patient to signal or let us know when they perceive a change in loudness of the tone. After they give you the first response that they notice a difference when there's a five decibel increase, you then want to switch to one decibel increments and repeat that one decibel increment 20 times and record each time that the patient successfully detects a loudness change. So after you've collected the number of correct responses to an increase out of the 21 decibel increases, you want to multiply it by 5 to calculate the percentage correct, which gives you the difference alignment or intensity. This test should be completed, as I said previously, in uh, several frequencies. So for the results, if you have a percentage between 70 and 100% correct, the patient has a high sensitivity to loudness increases, which would then lead us to believe that it is a cochlear pathology in that ear. That is because recruitment is coming into play and the outer hair cells are more sensitive to the increase in loudness because of that recruitment. And if there's a very low percentage correct, you know, around 20 decibels or below, that is considered a retrocochlear pathology because in retrocochlear pathology, we typically do not have recruitment. So now we'll take a look at the MedRex Studio software, and we're going to demonstrate how to perform the short increment sensitivity index test. So this front page here is going to show you the different modules that are available within the software but this is dependent on what equipment you have. So for this test, we want to click on the audiometry tab. And the first screen that it brings you to is the tone screen. This is your typical audiometry front screen where you're going to input the thresholds. You have transducers and everything else here on the right hand side that you would normally use to perform the regular air and bone conduction testing. So on the top of the screen, we have different tabs for different tests that are available. So if we click on the tab for this test here, we have the same audiogram that was shown on the front screen. And you have your right and left ear options here, transducer options. You have your intensity for the tone that you're going to present. And you also have the decibel increase amounts that you want to use for this test. So you have the options of using a five decibel increment two decibels or one decibel increment. And what you want to do is figure out which frequency you want to test. In this case, we're going to test 2000 Hertz. So you can either use your arrow keys on the keyboard. You can click on the table and select which frequency you want to test. And then for the intensity, you want to either slide the slider up and down. You can use the arrow keys or you can use your arrow keys on the keyboard as well. So at 2000 Hertz here, we want to present the tone at 20 dB SL on the left side. So that brings us to 60 decibels on the left at 2000 Hertz. So you want to instruct your patient to let you know by either clicking the button or you can have them just signal to you when they hear the increase in tones. So all we need to do is then click the start button. 
and you'll see that it's going to start to tally how many correct responses the patient has versus how many times the increase was presented. And every time the increase is presented, you will see the box light up here. And every time the patient selects the button that they heard the increase, you'll see the yellow circle light up. All right, so now that you see that 20 presentations have been completed, we will then want to take, in this case, the 16 out of 20 responses and multiply that by 5. And that gives us 80, a percentage of 80. So in this case, because the patient has a high percentage of signaling that they heard the increase in intensity, that shows that there's a cochlear pathology because of recruitment there and we want to then proceed as if this were a cochlear hearing loss.